Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored. So, uh, yeah, here we are back at the Hound Pits pub. Uh, Martin is on his way to join the Loyalist and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. And the plot thickens. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Whoa, who is shooting? He's oh. alive. Hi. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. I Here. certainly hope so. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Oh, that was very kind of you. I will use it to purchase things to potentially kill and or maim others. If this is going to work. We have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer... You did it! Somehow did. you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes. And Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. Oh, but now you should take a well-earned rest. bottle in front of him. We will decipher the uh -huh, contents of the High Overseer's dangerous. journal and share them with you later. Sleep sounds good. I could use the rest. Not just yet. There's some things I'd like to do first. Alright. I could, but I'm actually going to. My, can talk I be of Piero. service to you? You may. Let's see what you got. Um, how much we have? Two hundred coins. Boy, oh. I guess we're not buying anything. I should pick up more coins when I'm in a boot. So, uh, I guess we'll run up to our room. I didn't mean to go this way, but hello. Yeah, comes into this, this little sleeping area. Proper decorum. The Hound Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Huh. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten the nation regarding future interests? You will be in the presence of the most important person. Interesting. bit of dialogue between two people and we're gonna go to sleep all right um now martin's back and okay no that just read the same as last time all righty let's go Over 
here. This is a very small door. Or, no, it's a regular sized door. Oh, it's the room they have set up for Emily. That's nice of them. A little weird that they're putting the princess in a tower. But, uh, I guess it's fitting, right? I love using Blink. It's so much fun. I know the Golden Cat. Not as a patron. I designed some specialized devices. Uh huh. I don't know what the Golden Cat is, but it sounds dirty. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech Oops. and actions. The state depends on you. Uh huh. Where are you? Am I just not paying attention? Oh. The outsider walks among us. I mean, sort of? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. Never I hate to so. start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper. Poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I tend a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that way. Okay. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. Ooh, runes. I like runes. If I get a rune, then I can upgrade my blink. To blink to... Ah, get out of the water. Get out of the water! Really? This is really gross water. There it is. It's such a weird feeding. Alright, cool. Also, if I remember correctly, if you stay in the water too long, there's a potential you'll get attacked by some carnivorous fish. Okay, so this is how far Blink works right now. And let's go do this one. Upgrade to Blink 2. It doesn't really appear that much further. Nah. And... Alright, really? This is... Obnoxious. Now that it, all that's over with. Alright. Time to be sneaky. My voice will uh, interfere with the sounds, uh, the 
uh, stealthiness of me in game. Uh, anyway, pick that up. That's money. Okay. Ooh. Chain. I know I'm not really doing what I was asked to. Oh. Huh. Interesting. All right. Keep moving. Um... Go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Oh no! He, I killed him. Whoops. Well, I knocked one out and killed the other. Uh, I'm an ancient note. I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting, or ever again, for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of. I labor is here for you to keep, but I expect that the rats will consume it before you return. Goodbye. Interesting. And it's a rune! Hey, look at that! We've got another rune. Um. down the sewers. I thought I heard a weeper. Uh, ah, goodness. That's weird. Alright. Put our sword away. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. Ooh! The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Indeed. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Well, let's... Go. Hello, Pendleton. Corvo. I'm a Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. All right. First, the arrow. I wanted to buy some sleep darts for me. There you are. 
Yeah. Corvo, my friend. You are very close Do to you me. You need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? I would. Yes, let's have a look. Um, what I really want. How many of these do I have? I have four. Okay. Uh, I want to buy some sleep darts. Uh, five should be good. All right. Tally ho, Samuel. Tally ho. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I'm... I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. <laughs> uh, that's good. All right. Let's go look for Emily with our terrifying mask. That won't be frightening for her at all. Uh, the lawyers believe that... Okay, yeah, you already know all this. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holker Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be I like going you. Up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. Alright, let's go check out the whiskey distillery. Whoa, chaos. Uh, your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths results in more rats and weepers, different reactions from your allies, and it darker final outcomes. Oh, That's terrifying. Those people were just murdered. I always get them while they're peeing. Which is not something I expected to say, but here I am. I didn't mean to throw him. No oh one. Well. All right. Please tell me no one sees me. All right. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, uh -huh. is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. Oh. He now bears the Heretics brand, and by one of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman, it is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. Wow. In this time of spiritual crisis, the Overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new High Overseer is joined. Let's see. Huh. It's all boarded up now. Interesting. Let's see if we can get around these guys. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to walk up. That him? Yeah. He's the one. Hey, I'm the one? We got a message for you from Slackjaw. Uh-huh. He wants to talk. At the distillery. Okay. I'm already in front of the distillery. Nice. Alright. We are now inside the distillery. We must go to Slackjaw. Entering neutral zone. Oh, good. It means the people here won't kill me. That's good. 
Let's keep it that way as long as possible. Easy, easy. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest uh -oh. of us get one part elixir, three parts of water. It's never good when people start thinking that the higher ups are getting the good stuff. That's when you get mutinies. Hello. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them yes. boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Okay. Interesting. I just keep going this way to get out? I can indeed! Ha! Alright. To the distillery shut district. Up, hey, shut up. Away! We're like a... a slightly more murdery Batman. Who's worth it sneaking. We're actually nothing like Batman at all. Uh, anyway. Uh-oh, we've now entered a hostile zone. Huh. People really want me to go to Dr. Galvani's place. Oh! Jeez! What the... Ah! No! What is going on? I don't know who these people are! Oh, jeez. feed you to the rats. Um, that settles that. I guess so. I don't know who they were. That was mildly terrifying. We've got assassins trying to Oh, I don't have any health potions. Good, good. Good. All right. We'll just have to be extra sneaky. Which, if you've watched any of this series, you know I am fantastic at. Um. Sleep tight. my favorite YouTubers would say. And we've picked up some bullets. Time to go into his office. Not quite sure what we're supposed to do. Oh, jeez. Uh, under the table. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone. Huh. Hmm. Please 
Don't see me. Please don't see me. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. No! Damn it! Die! I just wanted to choke you out, not kill you. Also, I can eat some bread. Uh, ooh, um, here, we'll just set that there. Um, there. It's all, it's all better now. Um, you didn't hear anything. Just look in here. See what's going on. All right. Nobody saw or heard a thing. And there was no point in coming in this room. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Please, please don't open that door. Okay. And Better make a pass over here. We'll just carry you and set you next to your dead friend. Now it looks like you murdered him and then passed out. That's that's how that works, right? Um Yeah. That's how that works. You murder someone and then you just immediately pass out. What do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Well, shoot. Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I'd buy who did it a drink. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. <laughs> all right. They won't notice me. <coughs> I am a still shadow. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Shall we? Um, are they coming? What, what's going on, guys? Oh, there's one of them. <clears throat> Just go to sleep. And I'll sell it, set you right there. Oh. No auto-looting now. And where did the other guy go? Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. And sleep. Cool. Um, I guess we'll pick up this Crowley's last message. And... Are you... What? It's a nice painting. Ooh! A health potion! Those are useful. A red room? Interesting. With a bathtub? This is an odd place. Alright. Now, can I get outside from in here? I can, it looks like. Cool. That's worth money, that's worth food. Um anything else in here? No. 
All right, to Clavering Boulevard. Um, all new exhibition. Oh yeah, if you can hear the snoring of the guy down below. It's kind of funny. Interestingly, if you uh, use the teleport thing, you can actually uh, move downward, a space that would normally kill you, and it won't, which is nice. that they're gonna be like huh why did it stop moving and I will say I do not know why did it stop moving um but yeah all right let's get back to slackjaw and yeah then we can work on finding Emily First, let's go into that room. It looks interesting. Oh! A rewire tool. That's cool. And some copper wire. Somebody was having a party in here. Um, and they were warming bread on the stove. Always nice. Nobody questioned it. Did he just fall faster? No. I just fell. Hey, 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 wait a minute. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pay for the whiskey? Because you're the dumb one. Because you didn't realize before that you were always the one paying for the whiskey. Oh, Slackjaw has moved. How dare you, Slackjaw. Here's Crowley's last words. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Uh, yeah. Slackjaw, it's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and... What's that? Ah! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slapjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. Ooh. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat, brother. Oh, Thank See you. that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that? I like now you, Slackjaw. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. Oh? Interesting. Tell me what you have in the mind. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Uh -huh. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months, too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. 
Bring me that combination, my mass friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. I like it. Thanks, Slackjaw. Many thanks, friend of friends. Ah, no! Mm. And... Open! Aha! Slid in here. Although, um... Oh, that's how I get out. Okay. Ooh, a blueprint! Cool. Um... Medical herbs... Bullets, powdered crystals. Just realized I'm. I don't want to pull the grenade. I'm robbing the people I'm working with. That's not the best way to keep uh, healthy, you know, work relationships. But eh, what they don't know won't hurt me, right? Also, I have a sword that's covered in blood. Oops. I pressed the wrong button. Now I have been healed. Let's go to the Bottle Street. Alright, now onward to the captain's chair. can't go that way, can I? Attention Dunwall citizens. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Huh. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. We don't want to try and go over land again. We saw what happened last time. But, maybe. It's also a little brighter now, so that makes visibility a legitimate concern. Um, hmm. Let's... look like a weeper. I don't want to deal with you. Alrighty. Shh. You filthy mudlark. Let a tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. No, please. It's for my baby. He needs it. It's us that need it. The city watch gets sick. How are we gonna protect him? Protect me? You grab her. I'll get the elixir. You're going to rot in a cell till you die, thief. No! I found... My baby! Help! Someone please help! No! no. I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Just no! Die. No! You killed an innocent person! You jerk! Oh. Yeah, that's what I think of you. So I completely missed with all of my shots, except for one. <sighs> Damn it! I really wanted to save her. She didn't deserve that. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district is now under a mandatory whale oil ban. 
Compliance will be strictly banned. It was just under ration, just like, or maybe that was the other one. All right. Maybe I changed districts. I don't think I did. Personnel only. Do I need to sneak in here? I don't think so, but who knows? Warming your gun by the fire seems safe. Ow! Stop! Bad! Bad rats. <sighs> I'm very disappointed that I couldn't save that woman. Alright. Alright, and we are at enough time for me to call an episode. So, uh, if you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Um, yeah, next time we'll be uh, finding a way to get that safe combination and rescuing a small girl from a brothel. Uh, so yeah, until then. Fare thee well.